everybody and welcome to this week's video. My name is Flossie and this is Sire and the Step Van. We are probably two thirds of the way through the van conversion and this week we're taking a detour and going on some adventures. Gas is really expensive right now. Instead of driving up the back roads, I am starting to take my e-bike, which is super awesome for exploring. When you wander around in the forest lot, you're bound to get lost and then this week the fairies completely lead us astray it was pretty funny color that's all i'm gonna tell you i'm like gonna let you wait and see but as you already know if you watch some of the van build series aesthetics and design is pretty important to me take a guess comment below pause the video before you watch any further what color do you think i'm talking about <laughs> okay you can hear the rain outside. And what we're going to do today is empty this. It is very full of ashes. I had a few packages arrive in the last few days and of course everything came in cardboard. And I don't like lots of cardboard lying around so I burnt it. So, to keep a healthy fireplace, one empties ashes. This stuff's great because I don't have to cut it, it just fits exactly inside. And then I use a little fire starter thing, it's like cardboard that's been infused with oils or waxes or something like that. burn okay so now that that's on we'll start preparing lunch and for lunch I've got some potatoes that really need using up so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna make a potato salad now that we have our potatoes cut we need to put them in some roasting dishes Ta-da! there we go doesn't that look beautiful now I need to oil and salt Add some salt. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Hope I salted them enough. If you've ever gone on a hike in the forest, can you tell if there's fairies? Do you sense the presence of other beings? If you do, comment below. I'd love to hear about it. I think the forest is full of magical creatures. Maybe not as magical as this guy, but definitely something special. It looks like a fairy would. Lost over and over again in here is like I literally think like. I'm a fairy in a fairy wood. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If you don't know exactly where you're going, you can get turned around and around in a forest that looks like this. Tiny little flowers. It's amazing because you can't hear another sound if there's no human sounds at all except for us. Yeah, when you're looking into the water, there's usually like more like boat traffic sound, but I don't know. So pretty. Fine. Wow. Oh, that's special. I found one a couple of months ago. You know, I walked through this, mm. these woods for years and I remember finding one and just leaving it, but I 
So if you looked at these trees, could you tell which side is the side north? Got moss on here, doesn't it? So it's just like take a, and that one's got moss on. So looking at like the edge mm -hmm. is not so helpful, but maybe being more in the forest. Nice. That's a good idea. Anyways, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like that way. Let's go find out. <laughs> if we don't find the trail that we were on, we'll find a new trail. <laughs> and it'll be a wonderful adventure. And I'm thrilled that we're in the forest. If you get lost, go to a high point so that you have a surveillance. I mean, that really works if you're actually doing big mountains yeah, yeah, yeah. as opposed to this, which is kind of like all of this all over the place. Of course, if you want to go down. Ooh, some beautiful quartz crystal. Oh, I'm trying to figure it out. This looks like a path. Yeah. This looks like a trail. Slightly downhill is good. There's so many down trees. We've had so much wind and rain. Wow. Log, it's just, everything is like carpeted in moss. Some creature probably lives in there too. This is beautiful. We might be getting closer to the pond. Possibly, but they sound amazing. Yeah, like way more active. Hey birdies. <gasps> yeah. We see a path. We've just climbed out into the open from the forest over there. Yay! <sighs> we made it! <sighs> Pond is that way. Ocean is that way. <sighs> we are no longer lost. But bush hiking is fun. Bush hiking is fun. I think maybe we went left for a very long time before we decided we were lost. The fairies led us astray. Look at its glistening cap. <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm a Sagittarius baby. Yes, it is summer. Here in February? Was it snowing? <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. But there were otters that were sliding on the other side here. I bet there were. It's beautiful. So and then straight ahead. I believe it's May, and then to the right of it, it's kind of... It is raining! Is this chemist down here? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, and There's nice. chemist all down here, and oh, there's beautiful... Oh, trodden on. Yeah, oh, and, and there's beautiful... Oh, no, it's just been going, it's uh, sedum, nice. Sedum? Ooh! And the wow, indigenous people would like label it, like, so that... Wow. You didn't uh, pick it accidentally instead of the other camas. It's not Whoa, a it's a different cut. Oh, okay. Death camas. That's amazing. Yeah, do they grow in the same patches? Screenshot. These are baby oyster mushrooms. And then what else are we, am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's it. I was so excited to share this bicycle adventure with you. I think a lot of you who look forward to doing van life, look forward to or are doing van life, really enjoy the spaces where there is no other humans about. All you can hear is nature, all you can see is nature. And I was so excited to bring some of that soundscape and share it with you. And 
some of me getting used to my e-bike on more of a, uh, not what's it called, off-road kind of scenario, dirt biking. I, I don't think I'm going to be, like, I'm not a dirt biker and I've never done this before, so getting out and doing some of these trails that were a bit rocky and a bit steep was a little bit of out a challenge outside of my comfort zone. And then the audio didn't work and I was so cut it. So disappointed. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some of it here on my computer. I've got my computer right here. And I thought that I would watch it and then record some sounds that I think I would be making at those points in time for you. Uh, so that you can A, hear what I was thinking and um, it brings some life and character to it because, oh, it's pretty funny. This bike can go up to 65 kilometers an hour on a flat or a downhill and that scares the bejesus out of me very scary when you're going that fast and you're not wearing any protection so i was like i need to be safe so i went and got a helmet some uh, motocross pants and gloves because my my hands and my like my hands is what i make my money with i edit videos all the time i shoot and film if i can't use my hands i'm a bit screwed These are gonna be good. <laughs> we drove the van out to the forest and I'm very excited. This is a completely middle of the nowhere kind of place. The forest around it is absolutely beautiful. Safety first this time. Normally I'm a, like a safety third kind of like take a few risks kind of person, but safety first in this case. I don't want my brains splattered on the pavement. Or on the trail in the middle of nowhere there's no cell phone reception, nobody can find me. I'm all like <laughs> It's so bumpy. There's rocks everywhere. <laughs> it's awesome and you can see by my face that I'm a little tense. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what this trail is going to be like. But the trees are beautiful. It's gorgeous around me. The smell of the wet, damp, warm earth is just gorgeous. I'm very happy about it. There's a lot of wild broom here. It's all in flower. Broom is an invasive plant. If you see some, pull it up. On forest trails, it's a lot harder to get rid of. Oh my gosh, so bumpy. And I'm going down this wee. There's some creek beds that are a bit wee. Oh, it was so exciting. Oh, so fun. Nerve-wracking because you don't know how deep the puddles are, but I did it. It was okay. <sighs> and then I got to this junction. I was like, do I take the road less traveled? Do I go this way? Do I take the road that's less traveled? Or do I take the main path? Now, I think in this particular option, what I was trying to tell you 
is A, that I was puffed and hot and sweaty because it was very humid, like the humidity level, as you can see through the rest of the video, is rising. I decided to take the path that was open and easy. I slipped on this stick. My bike hit the uh, branch that was across the path and I bailed. I wasn't recording at the time, so I don't have fabulous bailing footage for you, but it was at the top of a little steep uh, hill. And I'd just come over this tiny little bridge. Somebody had obviously biked here before, despite the road really going to nowhere, which was unusual. But then there was this little pond, which was super gorgeous. I mean, despite the amount of bugs that were flying around it, it was beautiful. I found, look, it felt like I had found a little oasis in the middle of the forest. Creek forests are the most gorgeous things. Now, this path, I shouldn't have even been riding it. It was so wet, it had started to rain by this point. The forest was slippery, there wasn't a clear path, and I was basically driving on, through the bush on a bike, pretending it was a dirt bike. And it's not, it's an e-bike. And not surprisingly, I got stuck. But eventually, I got to the top, to not only to realize that this path actually didn't go anywhere. Following it to the very end, and I like this, it's like a treasure hunt. You go on a dirt path, down a dirt road, you follow it, and sometimes it leads somewhere amazing, and sometimes it just leads nowhere. So this one led nowhere. And as you can see, everything is very overgrown. Oh my gosh, I should not have had my bike up here. But hey, I have a sense of adventure and sometimes my sense of adventure is a little crazy. Right, we hop back on the bike. Whee! Whoosh. Oh! And this time I was trying to be a show-off and I didn't give it enough gas and got stuck. So we push it up the hill. <laughs> this bike is heavy so if you don't give it enough um, it don't get up hills. We finished off the ride by coming all the way back down the mountain and ending up by the river. After a high energy, high excitement ride, it was very, very nice just to come down, listen to the sound of the river rushing by, relax, and feel a sense of accomplishment. I made it. I did it. I didn't hurt myself. It was so much fun and I can't wait to do it again. And next time, we'll have a real soundscape instead of me narrating over the whole time. Oh look, snick! Danger noodle! Actually, it's not a danger noodle. Yesterday I recorded a whole lot of stuff and none of the audio worked and I was so disappointed. So I'm just doing this to test to make sure that if I record today, they'll actually me sound. Playing with color! Oh, it's so much fun. Anyway, <sighs> one issue that I really have is I like to make things match color-wise. It just looks pretty, and when I did the van build, aesthetics was quite important to me. It's time to dye my hair. This is the bleach I use, because it's easy. Let's get started. Growth. I've had my head shaved. I'm gonna get rid of this black line in here. Yay! Oh, shaved heads like Velcro. And here we have later all the bleach is applied. And now I sit and wait. All the colors lightened. Wish me luck. Every so the often, I do a little house sitting to look after the kitties, like Tiger here. Tiger here is a diabetic and needs insulin shots. 
So I get to come over and give little tiger twice a day insulin shots and look after you, hey? No, did I wake you up from your sleepies? Yeah. Shot little man. Hey, what are you doing? You ready for some feel good juice? He's so used to it, he didn't even flinch. Hmm? He's a good kitty. Hmm? He loves giving his petties. What it also means is that I get to dye my hair in a real shower. I forgot gloves today. So this is what we're doing. Oh well. There you have it. Yellow dye. Totally ready to sit for a bit. Turn yellow and then I'll wash it out. Time to wash out this. It's dried now, so like it's crispy a little bit, which means it's had enough time to kind of really soak into all the hair follicles. Right, I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Look at this hair color. I love the color. I've put two different yellows, like a, a canary yellow and more of a neon yellow at the end. And I think it looks amazing. So the next job I thing I want to do is before it's fully dry is put some of this in it. The more you look after curly hair, the curlier it is. Less dry and frizzy and because, you know, I've just bleached and colored it. It needs. I did do a moisturizing treatment betwe in between after I bleached it and before I colored it, but one's got to take care of one's hair. Good morning. It's the next day and I just woke up and I wanted to show you my hair. It looks awesome. It's still a little bit dry, so I need to give it more conditioning, but the curls are there. And if I, I mean, they're there at the back. The front is still a bit floppy. Look at those, it's like almost a ringlet. So, I have to go and give this cat his morning insulin injection. Did somebody come and buy all of the fabric dye? Finally getting to some of the annoying pesky jobs that you know, it's just a little finish and it's going to make such a difference to my life. I just got back from the hardware store and I bought a few things. Fabric dye. This is a big hint. Let's do this. Salt, sheets, packets of dye. I already got the, the buckets ready. Let's go. Let's go to make things yellow. Right, let's fill these buckets up with water. Whoa! Alright, I need a stirring stick. Packets are dissolvable, so look. Whoa! Oh, this one here is orange. I'm going to inaccurately measure one cup. Inaccurately. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited.
Are you ready for this? It's amazing. It's gonna be a pale piece in the middle somehow. Yay! I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for ages and I'm waiting, waiting for the weather. <sighs> Can't wait to show you once I take it out and hang it up to dry. Just pulled these out of the buckets. Oh my gosh! <sighs> I got all hot and dunked my head in a bucket. <sighs> Not the dye buckets. <sighs> Look at them. And my pillowcases too. So the pillowcases are gonna be orange at one end. And then the sheet is a beautiful gradient of colors. And I did the dye bag too, but. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, it looks so pretty. Morning, everybody. I woke up to a thunderstorm this morning. Thunderstorms in July. And yesterday, yesterday? This last day or two, I dyed a whole lot of things, including my new sheets. And because I don't have a washing machine and I don't want to take my sheets to the laundromat and be like, oh yes, these are freshly dyed. I want to wash them. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> They're out in the rain getting a wash. The only problem is, all the rest of my construction materials for building more things are also out in the rain and I forgot to bring them in. Into the bed of my dreams. Look at this beautiful linen cotton sheet set. It was plain white tartan and I dyed it. I am beyond thrilled. Oh my gosh, it just completes the van. Doesn't it look stunning in here? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And if I want to, I can even put my throw on top. Ta-da! Beautiful. A homey bed. I am so proud and happy with all of this and how it's turned out. Oh my gosh, I need to redye my hair. It's looking blonde more than yellow. <sighs> Morning. Recently, you saw me get up to all sorts of mischief, dyeing this duvet and pillowcake set. And it turned out so good. I'm thrilled with it. But I've been still using an old blue sheet and you know, it's not really my not really my vibe. So, I have been gifted by a kind human these plain creamy colored cotton sheet sets as I think there's a fitted sheet, maybe another pillowcase. Anyway, there's still some dye left. Let's go dye these too. More yellow and orange coming right up. Yes. <laughs> well, I hope these take. And I figure darker colors are better for sheets. So I'm gonna go orange.
I don't know if these will dye quite as well as the other one, but they're cotton, so they should. We'll see. They're also not white to begin with, they're orange. They're creamy colors. It's not going to be nearly as bright as the other orange because this is a different kind of fabric. I just don't think the fibers are going to take the dye quite as well, but we'll see. It might just take a bit longer. We'll see. And this yellow. It's gonna come out yellow, it's just gonna come, not gonna come out as vibrantly bright as the other fabric. Fabrics always make a difference to how the dye takes. And this is what happened. All right, time to take this one out and hang it up. Freaking beautiful. Wow. Oranges. It's freaking stunning. I love these colors. These are going to complement my duvet covers perfectly. It's been so fun playing with dye. I really love color matching. As you can tell, my hair and my glasses are always yellows. So to have yellows and oranges in my life in my sheets to go in the van, it's just an extra joy. Yay, and it turned out so good. So these ones here are finished dyeing and they are just up here to dry. And I will show you more when it's all on the bed. Yee! <sighs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. May you be inspired to make your homes your own, make any personal and all personal touches very special and meaningful. Be creative, you can do it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, your support and your viewership. And to my Patreons, thank you so much. It means the world to me. Have a lovely day, bye.